Welcome, welcome, subscribers, subscribers, and viewers alike, and today we are going to be making a tier list of all the different universes and how well I could survive in them. Before we get started, just know that on this channel I'm going to be doing a lot of stupid tier lists, and that this one specifically was recommended to me by a Sad Mortem R1. Thank you, Sad Mortem R1. Let's get started here with the favorite universe we all know and love it, universe number one, the first universe that ever existed, uh, main creatures being eggs. I mean, like, I could beat an egg in a fist fight, like, pretty well, but don't let, but don't tell him that I said that, okay? Uh, so, you know, I think this might have to go A tier, because, like, it, it'd be really easy. But on the other hand, like, there there isn't water there, like, it's just the kind of green goo, you know? So, we don't really want to drink the green goo, because I can't drink that very well, so... I mean, that inherently would mean I would die, but I could probably just drink the eggs, but that would... Would that be cannibalism? They're a sentient being, but... I know, I, I will, I'll just bring some water. I'll just bring a water. A, I only need to bring one, like who even needs more than one water, you know? So yeah, uh, I could I could beat the locals easily in a fist fight, every single one of them because they're made out of eggs. Uh, but the, the only thing to drink there would be the green goo, and we don't like the green goo, so I think it's gonna have to be like a B tier, uh, you know? Uh, next up we're going to Phlogaxia where we are going to have to think that like there aren't plants here aside from like the stupid little ones that grow the stupid little dogs or whatever but it's kind of a fun place the temperature is really nice there they have nice vacation resorts but you know i can't i really can't get past the creepy little dog plants like it's the only thing they have the fruit shaped like dogs it's just not good you know the fruit tastes fine i'm sure but like who who would want to live on a place where the only plant is a dog? Uh, on the other hand, like, I could live there, I suppose. I just wouldn't enjoy it very much because there's nothing fun to do there. Like, they don't have rocks. They don't have trees. Like, it's it's mainly just sand and dog fruit, you know? Like, they have a few types of bird and, like, like, what is a salamanders or something? Uh, I, I'm afraid I'm just gonna have to go... Well, I mean, okay. I could survive on this really easily, but it would not be an enjoyable place for me to survive. So I'm going to put that in B tier. Next up we have the Warner Bros. Cinematic Universe. Uh, I couldn't survive here because Bugs Bunny hates me. Uh, Yosemite Sam and me are best friends though, so he'll probably protect me except for he'll get blown up by dynamite and there will be a goofy anvil falling from the sky going boing. Uh, so that's kind of unfortunate. I might get killed by a falling anvil or like by running into a wall at top speed or something. I, w I probably wouldn't die die because you can't do that in this universe, which is kind of cool. So technically, yes. It'd be an interesting one for sure. A lot of excitement. Uh, and I would, I would not die there. So like... That's pretty cool. It's gonna have to be an A tier for me. Well, actually, kind of an S tier if you think about it, because, like, you can't die. But you can get hurt, like, badly from falling anvils and running into walls and, like, getting blown up with dynamite. So, yeah. Uh, then there's also the, the like, ginormous flippin' dinosaur dragons that are probably gonna tear me to shreds. Next up, we have Bitty Beta 2, which, I'm gonna be honest, uh, I, I should just put it in D tier. I mean, like, we, we all know why. Constant explosions, the volcanoes, giant hippopotamuses, like, or whatever they're called. They're, what are they called? Like, I don't know, zibidiboops or something. They're pretty, they're pretty annoying. Uh, pest, also dangerous, so it's gonna be D tier. I don't even have to cover any more in that one, I feel like. Next we have, uh, a galaxy in number 435. So, galaxy number 435 you know, it's a cool place. It's really beautiful with the ground being mostly made out of cheap gemstones. Uh, I have heard rumors that they aren't real gemstones and are artificial. Uh, which, I mean, that's just slander upon the fine universe that is universe uh, number 435, you know? Like, universe number 435 isn't a bad universe. It's just, it's just, you know, it does seem a little artificial at times. A little, like, it's not really, uh being itself like it's trying to be someone else kind of which like you know we don't want that we we want universe number 435 to be able to be okay being themselves and and happy with who they are so you know i mean i'm going to have to put it in b tier as well a lot of b tiers uh because you know it's not a bad universe it it just it just needs a bit of help okay so flip a flopper flip a flopper 
Uh, it's good, the fact that you get flibbleflobbed there is not too good, like, that's a pretty inconvenient thing. Really annoying, it really puts a wrench in the works of trying to actually survive there. Like, if you get flibbleflobbed, you kind of, you're like, days are gone. Like, you're not gonna get those days back, it's gonna be really hard to gather resources. And the, the stuff that I would need to do. Uh, the people there are really nice. Uh, they do have counters to getting flibbleflobbed. But, you know, it's probably quite expensive, and like, I mean, if I'm- if I'm just landing down there, then what am I supposed to do? Like, I- I'll get flibbleflopped, and then what? I won't have any money because I don't know the local currency there, because I did no research before this video. So what am I supposed to do under those circumstances? I'm gonna get flibbleflopped, and it'll just prohibit all progress. Uh, it's gonna have to go in C tier for me. Uh, next up we have the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I probably would die immediately, so F tier. Uh, you know, I'd probably get Thanos snapped or something, or like, eaten by Gore Globship or whatever his name is. So, F tier. Uh, Galaxia. Galaxia is a pretty cool thing. It's weird it's named after a galaxy instead of a universe, but you know, it's okay. Everyone has their flaws. Uh, Galaxia, it's, it's a nice place. It is cold this time of year, so like, I might have to wait until later in the year to go. But like, if I were to go there, I probably, I probably would be fine. Like, they have the geysers of water, that's probably good. Uh, they do have the weird, uh, little floating ominous structures, but like, those are fine. I might be able to turn them into a house if it doesn't, like, burn me to death or curse me or something. But you know, it, ha it has its flaws, but it's pretty good. Like, honestly, there's easy food to get there, like, I'll, I'll just eat a sniggle. Yeah, like, it's, it's pretty good. I'll be set for days there. Like, it's not a bad place. On the other hand, I don't like the cold, so I definitely would only want to live there part-time. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to go with- I think I'm gonna have to go with C tier, honestly. I, I just remembered that the grass there is like an off shade of yellow, which I really don't like. Okay, next universe we have up is, um... This one doesn't actually have a name, does it? It's kind of just- It's kind of just a random image of a universe I pulled up. Uh, it's kind of orange and like it, it has a, like a black hole or something in the center like i don't know if i could live there probably i mean like I'll, I'll just fly there or something and be able to go back whenever i want so i could at least check it out uh, i really don't i'm sorry i didn't do enough research before the video on this universe in particular uh it's it's quite cool though you know um I, i'm thinking it's going to be another c tier fleefus uh, Fleefus is a pretty good place, you know, it's, it, like, the ability to breathe in space is kind of cool, since you kind of just float around the area, it's not, I know it's not exactly space, blah 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 blah, but, you know what I mean, like, you kind of float around all the time, there's no actual bodies of matter there, it's pretty cool. It's a lot of fun, uh, I've been there before actually on vacation, it's a pretty nice place. It's always a comfortable temperature of pi equals 3 science squared, so it's pretty nice. The people who live there, uh, is- they're nice too, like, they enjoy having tourists come and visit, it's nice. Uh, a lot of accommodations for people with, like, nut allergies, you know, there's no nuts there. Uh, there's technically no type of food there, but you're able to eat space, so it's set, kind of, you know. Again, I know it's not space, it's like a space matter, but whatever. It's- it's a lack of space with matter, you know, if that makes sense. Not like air, but like, you know what I mean. Uh, it's a really good place, actually. There's an, I can't think of any downsides, uh, to living there, so I'm gonna have to go S tier for this one, honestly. It, it's a really nice one. Uh, and next time- next we're going to do a Flace, which sounds similar to Flip- whatever the heck this one's name is, but Flace is not similar at all. Uh, it's- it's actually quite- quite- bad like lots of volcanoes and stuff uh the fish there they hurt my feelings really badly like they insult me i've never even been there and they just they just say the name orion repeatedly and like a bunch of swear words afterwards it's not very nice of them we do we do have the giant rolling uh little whatchamacallits so that's an issue it's not something i couldn't deal with like i could maybe build a wall or something it's probably fine you know uh, A tier? No, definitely not A tier. I mean, it wouldn't be pleasant. The temperature's fine, except for when you're by the volcanoes. I, I don't want to get rolled over by the giant, uh, thing. I don't remember its name. 
That, that feels like it would hurt a lot, so I'm gonna have to go B tier right there. Uh, wow, can you believe it? We're at the end of the video already, just about. It's been a lot of fun, you know. Uh, finally, my favorite universe, green. Uh, green is a pretty good universe because it's green, so that means it's S tier. Okay, that's the video. Thanks for watching. You know, these are all the universes that exist. Uh, I know universe number 435 sounds like there should be way more universes, but nope, this is it. Like, this is all of them. Um, so that's pretty cool. Looks like I could probably survive pretty well in at least, like, seven of them, which, I mean, that's more than half. Like, that seems pretty good.